Hey guys, this is Video Fort Charlie with another awesome Video Fort tutorial for you. This time we're going to be going over the Premiere interface um, so you guys get an understanding of the different panels, tools, and menus that you have to manage your project. Basically, to get an understanding of Premiere, we have to go over the three key parts of Premiere. First, there are the tools and menus. So there are the regular upper menus that you have up here that are just like pretty much any other program. File, edit, clip, sequence, all this up here. You can kind of treat this as your master menu. Basically, if you can't find what you're looking for tool-wise, you can probably find it up here within one of these menus. Next, you can go down here, kind of towards the middle. This is your Quick Tools panel. Now, these are more like the consolidated tools that you would normally use in an edit, such as your Selection Tool, Ripple Edit, Razor, Pen Tool, Title Tool, or Type Tool. These things are just things that you use often, so they put them right here nice and easy for you. Now lastly, just like many other applications, you can right click to bring up a menu in most of the panels that are available. So say if I want to find something within the program panel, I can just right click, and there are some program panel specific menu items that appear. Same thing goes with the bin and project panel. I can go ahead and do that by simply right clicking. So between the regular upper menus up here, the quick tools panel down here, or right clicking within a panel, you'll probably be able to find all the tools you'll need to use Premiere. Now, the second of the three key parts is the main interface components or the layout of Premiere that you have to be familiar with. Now, this is pretty universal throughout most nonlinear editing systems, but we're just gonna specifically stick to what Premiere has for you right now. So up here on the upper left, there's the source panel. This basically shows you what your source footage looks like. So if you double click on an item here within your bin, say you have a piece of footage that you imported, you double click on it, it'll show up here in your source panel. Now, the next thing is your program panel. Now, the next thing is your program panel, which is off here to the right. Now, you'll notice that actually all of them are labeled, so it's pretty easy to find which one is which. The program panel shows what is within your sequence or your timeline down here. So as you scrub through your timeline or as you scrub through here, these two will be in sync with one another so you can see what your actual final edit is going to look like. And then down below that is your timeline panel. This is basically the timeline of your sequence. This is how your sequence looks. So you'll see some video tracks, you'll see some audio tracks, everything that is as you lay it out within your timeline will be here. And then lastly, off to the left here, there is your bin or project panel you'll basically be able to see all the elements of your project within this panel. And it's very similar to exploring files in Windows or Mac. You'll just see them laid out here in folders, or as we call them in the editing world, bins, and you can pretty easily navigate through them. Now, the third of the key parts is the secondary interface components. Now, it's important to note that within each panel, there are tabs that allow you to have multiple windows or tools that you can use with each panel. So this is just the default view, but what you can see here, say in the bin or project panel, there is an effects tab. I click on that. There's some new tools that pop up within the effects. There's also the info panel, which shows me just info regarding a clip. There's also markers. If I set markers within a timeline or within some source media, they should show up right here. There's also the history panel. So if I undo or redo, all of that should be right here so that I can find something within my history and go back as far as I need to. There are also additional panels just kind of scattered throughout Premiere, so you can go ahead and just kind of explore the interface, such as effects controls, audio clip mixer, all those fun things. The more you use the software, the more you'll get accustomed to what these things do and how you can use them. So that's our general overview of Adobe Premiere's interface. Next, we'll be going over some more advanced features within Premiere and its interface and how you can customize this workspace so that it fits your particular needs. So that's about it, guys. This is Video Fort Charlie signing off. You guys have a good one.